Question 23. It is towards the end of the paper, so we would expect this to be a level 5 question. It says ABCD is a rectangle drawn on coordinate axes. The sides of the rectangle are parallel to the axes. What are the coordinates of D and E? So all we've got to do is use the information on the picture already to help us work out what coordinates D and E are. Now at this point, it's worth remembering how we actually get our coordinates. The first number in any coordinate before the comma is whether you go left or right. And if you go to the left of zero, we're going into negative numbers. So to the left is negative. So this negative 10 here must be 10 to the left. This 14 here is 14 to the right of 0. Okay. The second number in any coordinate is whether you go up or down. So this 8 is above 0, so going up. So this 8 is 8 up. And this negative 4 is below 0. So from 0, we're going negative 4 down. Now what we need to do is now use that information to work out the coordinates of D and E. So let's look at the across coordinates first. So let's look at the pink bits first of, of both corners. Well D, D, if you start at zero and go across, D is actually level with A. D and A are both level with each other when you go across. But we already know that A is negative 10 across. So if A is negative 10 across, then D must also be negative 10 across because it's level. So D is negative 10 across because it's level with A. How far across is E? Well, if you start at 0, to get to E, you don't go across at all. So if you don't go across at all, get to E, then E must be 0 across. And that is the across coordinates done. Now let's have a look at the up coordinates. And again, it's all about with what letters are level with all the letters that we already know something about. Well, D, if you start at 0, to get to D, you need to go down so that you are level with point C. And we know that point C is minus 4 down. So if we start at 0 and go minus 4 down, we get level with C and also level with D. So D must be minus 4 down. What about E? Well, if we start at 0 and go up to E, we're getting level with A. And we already know that A is 8 up. So if A is 8 up and it's level with E, E must also be 8 up. So E is going to be 8 up. And there you have it, coordinates. It's all about what is level.